Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Everyone has been talking about this fight. I mean, I don't know, Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather, yeah. I don't think it's actually a match. But then he was actually promoting a fight, you know, in the UK and everyone started asking him about this question. Yeah. He's not fighting, but he's actually said, okay, the only way I can do this is for him to actually sign the contract. Mm. And if he does that, then the fight might just go on. Yeah, it's no longer news that Floyd Mayweather has retired now. So he's a promoter, essentially. He doesn't box again. And that's exactly what he was doing in London, you know, when obviously uh, the press took opportunity, took advantage uh, to ask him questions on a potential bout um, against uh, Conor McGregor, who's the biggest um, MMA star out there, the biggest UFC uh, star out there. Let's listen to uh, Floyd Mayweather. He's been reacting to, um, you know, if he will ever get in the ring uh, to face Conor McGregor. He don't really want to fight. If he really want to fight, sign the contract. You keep telling everybody, I'm scared of you, I'm, sc I'm scared of you. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a contract typed up. I'm going to get a contract typed up tonight. I'm going to sign it, and I'm going to fax it over to Conor McGregor and see, see if he's going to sign it. But I, I don't have to see him fight. It's obvious he's done something right thus far to be undefeated and to get to this point. But we're not going to overlook him. Have I ever seen him fight? Absolutely not. But one thing I'm going to do is when I get over to my hotel, I'm going to pull out the laptop and I'm going to watch him and see what he got. Well, you know, I'm, I want to see him back in the ring as soon as possible, but before that happens, he's got a couple of uh, issues to sort out, which is with, um, and there's a hearing set for early May, and he comes through it okay, then he'll box. And he seems to think, and you know, and, and, and that uh, he can, he, he will uh, get these issues sorted out with uh, with UK. And let's hope that's going to be the case, because we all miss him in boxing. Um, welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. Now, I don't know who wants to see a fight uh, between uh, Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor. The best, arguably one of the greatest boxers of all time, taking on yeah, arguably. arguably the best UFC fighter at the moment. Uh, Cecilia, I don't know about okay, you. All you need, I think the guarantee is how much? $100 million. Uh, obviously, that's, a, that's lot of money, okay. a lot of money will be $15 million on the going table. to McGregor. And of course, yeah. how many? $25 sure. million? Sure. <laughs> money may wear the ass down. Money may wear the so I'm not sure it's going to sign that because mm -hmm. that's kind of... Why I mean, not? It's, it's, it's the disparity, disparity, right? Yeah, who's the biggest star? Who's, who's okay, he's the biggest star. So he's going to bring all the fans, bring all the money and everything. So that's why he won $100 million. Floyd Mayweather is the A-side uh, to this movie, to this blockbuster okay. movie, if it happens. A movie. Conor McGregor yeah. is the B-side. We also saw um, Frank Warren, Frank Warren. Yeah, speak on um, Tyson Fury's you return. Know, potential return to boxing. And he wants to see him back as soon as possible. As soon as possible. You want to see him back? Yeah, I'd like to see him back. Okay. I mean, he's a very talented heavyweight and boxer. So yeah. he should be in the ring. Not, not you know, outside of it. Okay. <laughs> all right, Serena Williams have actually pulled out of the Indian Wells and also the Miami Open. She's got a knee injury. That's the reason she will not be playing in these two tournaments in too, May. Too but bad. the thing is, she's going to lose her number one sport. Mm. So that's... So I mean, that's... The, May, that's at the end of March, yeah. she will no longer be number one. So yeah. you have someone that's been looking behind so, there. That was yeah, Angeli Keba. Yeah, we'll actually. just take over. I mean, it's only natural. I mean, this Serena's won this tournament uh, twice uh, before, so it's a shame. But uh, we've noticed that in the last uh, few years now, uh, Serena's been picking up this, you know, injuries uh, from time to time. Uh, she's getting on the beats now. That's... Um, that's very obvious. Yeah, but when it she's comes gonna to the to... Grand Slam. Exactly. So <laughs> right now, Serena is all, about, ready. is all about taking care of herself and, you know, being ready uh, for the most important uh, conditions. Uh, no disrespect uh, to the A, to the WTA uh, tour at all, but we know the Grand Slams, uh, when they arrive, uh, Serena will be ready. So, um, so we're, we're wishing, hoping Serena gets well uh, as soon as possible so that she can return uh, to the court. And, um, yeah. So greatest, come, greatest of all time. Yeah, greatest okay. of all time. Yes. <laughs> greatest of all time. So right. I'm, I'm happy that you didn't use the word again. I mean, numbers, okay. yeah. When we're <laughs> numbers, talking numbers. 23? <laughs> no, nah, no one is done. No, no one is done. Margaret Court. Open era. Yeah, she has, but that, that's what yeah. we're talking about. So that's, we're an, talking about that's now. a debate right yeah. there, right? We're talking about now. So she that's can a debate right there. That. We're talking about In now. In open era. Open era. Greatest yes. of all time. Greatest of all time. All right, so she cool. can definitely get that title. <laughs> but we can't wait to see her back. I, I mean, can't wait. And the Grand Slam is lucky. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Wimbledon is around the country. So she just has to be fit for that. Yeah, the French Open as well, too. Is also there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Utah Formula One now. And the testing has started. Philippe Massa came out of retirement to rejoin Williams Formula One after uh, Vettori Bosses actually left Williams yeah. to Mercedes. But he was the fastest on the first day of the second series of preseason tests in Barcelona. 
right there in Spain. Yeah, surprise, surprise, right? I mean, I, I didn't expect Williams uh, to be uh, the fastest on day one of test two in, in Barcelona. But it, 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 they're showing that they have, they have the pace as well, so that's uh, Williams. And um, this pre-season testing so far uh, has been able to reveal to us that um, uh, Red Bull, okay, not really Red Bull, Red Bull have been disappointing <laughs> a bit, yeah. uh, but Ferrari, Ferrari yeah. uh, Mercedes as well too. Then Williams, this team that seems to really uh, watch out for uh, when the season uh, commences. And Daniel Ricciardo, uh, Ricciardo also, uh, he had a great time as well yeah. too for Red Bull. Uh, he was um, second uh, behind Felipe Massa um, uh, on, day two, on day one of test two in Barcelona. Sebastian Vettel for Ferrari was third, Lewis Hamilton uh, for Mercedes fourth, Batari Bottas fifth, um, Force India. Esteban mm -hmm. Ocon, yeah, Force India was seventh, yeah, Nico Ockenberg for Renault uh, was um, seventh in that one, Kevin Magnussen, um, Daniel, Kiat, Cecilia, the list is long, but the top three, top four, those are the guys to really uh, watch out for this season. Mercedes, uh, Ferrari, Red Bull, and perhaps Williams. Okay, we'll just listen to reaction coming from the pre-season test, uh, the second one in Barcelona. Yeah, always. So these cars are so fun to drive as well. They're so quick and, and we're always learning and making big improvements. So every time I get in the car, it's really enjoyable. Um, so to cut short so early today was a bit annoying. But even then, I mean, it's still enjoyable to see Nico find the gains for the team anyway. So that'd be good. I think at the moment, it's just, it's all an unknown still, you know. We're, we're getting new bits coming in and so then it the, the gives you an opportunity to, to change more. Uh, and there's not a huge amount of running because we still today we have... Not a lot of testing days, not a lot of uh, a huge amount of tires, and with the running plan we have, you know, you go out, you do 15, 20 laps, you don't really get, it's just for the team to get lots of mileage on the car, so it's, it's kind of, testing days are really not my favorite, I, I, I would happily miss testing and just go to the race. Ah, it's great, so fast corners, they are pretty fast, and, uh, but, you know, in terms of performance, it's, it's really difficult to tell you. It, it was great fun today to be in the car again and to drive uh, again after a few weeks or a few months of uh, not driving. Okay, reaction coming from the drivers there from the pre-season pre test in Barcelona. We'll go for a break now. We'll come back. Today is International Women's Day and we'll be having a female coach right here in the studio. She's not coaching a female team, you think, but it's actually a male team, one of the best we have in Nigeria right now. Stay with us. <laughs> 